so this video ladies and gentlemen first of all grand rising everyone uh hope you guys are doing well hope you have a nice weekend and i hope everything is going as planned this is denzomos and you are welcome to the channel of truth enlightenment freedom and the channel for breaking and parts free if you are new on this channel i talk about narcissism and narcissistic abuse i talk about spirituality i talk about personal and self-development and if that's what resonates with you i invite you guys to join us give us a like share this video with friends and you may subscribe if you haven't already and for those that have always been with us you are welcome back and i thank you for your love and support beware of monitoring spirits part two this video is upon request i've seen some comments uh, from yesterday some people are like oh you know i have a pet I have a dog at home, I have a cat. Maybe they have a lizard, a gecko, they have a snake. And this is your pet. There's no problem with the pet, you know. There's no problem with the pet. Animals also have spirits. They have a spirit. They are alive, so they have a spirit. The same way that humans do. And uh, as long as everything is okay with that pet, there is no problem at all, okay? Your pet is fine, you're in good terms. Maybe sometimes you can communicate, you can get along very well, no problem. Animal spirits can also be corrupted the same way that human spirits are, okay? If you've been with me and we've been talking about this narcissism, you already know the narcissist spirit has been corrupted over time and they have been taken over by different spirits and entities. Now, sometimes it may not be the case for everybody. Even before I start this video, let me give you an example. I told you guys, back, when, back then when I was little, having been involved with... Um, parents who are, were, who are very much associated with uh, witchcraft. I happened to visit a couple of shrines, okay? If I remember, maybe two of them. And you know what the first thing I used to see? I used to see animal skin. I used to see leopard skin, goat skins. I used to see skulls of different types of creatures, dogs. I used to see that those people were actually associated with uh, various types of animals. And it is not a coincidence because all over the world you will also realize that a lot of these people who are into witchcraft, the wizards, they are very close with the particular animals. So this could be like, for example, animals they may have adopted to carry out their work effectively okay so when these individuals get close to these animals those animals are going to what do they call it they are going to embody the same spirit that the owner has so that's why sometimes you see a lot of these witches the people into witchcraft. Sometimes they do their work. And you will sometimes experience a certain type of animal that is sometimes appearing. Could be sometime in your dreams, spiritually, or sometimes it could be it could be actually manifesting physically. A lot of you guys who have been who have been with the narcissist, you have heard about the Leviathan. The Leviathan is a, a, a snake spirit, it manifests in form of a snake. So sometimes when you're dealing with an assist and you're cleaning around the house, is what I told you yesterday, you have got to pay very close attention. You're cleaning the house and you find a snake somewhere behind the fridge. You don't understand where it came from. You live in a flat. There is no way that snake actually climbed all the way up to whichever floor that you're living. It manifests physically in front of you. Now, how do you actually tell that you have got a pet at home. 
and that pet is most likely has been attacked by a particular spirit. There can be many. I'll give you an example of the spirit of death. You may be having a pet at home. The first month was fine. Maybe the first year was okay. And all of a sudden you're starting to see deaths in the house, okay? It can be the death of anything. It could be the spirit of death. And now all of a sudden, people are passing on in the house, unknown circumstances. It's like sometimes you feel like you want to commit suicide. You're feeling suicidal. You're being attacked by the spirit of death, okay? Sometimes you might see animals which you was very close to, everything was nice back in the days, and all of a sudden this animal, it is very aggressive. Sometimes the dogs, they start to attack their owners. The cats all of a sudden out of the blue, they start to attack their owners. One of the things you have to realize, Chosa ones, is that uh, you, have given, you have been given the power and dominion over these spirits and entities, okay? So when you ever recognize that your animals, as your animal or your pets have all of a sudden switched and you don't actually figure out what is going on, you are being attacked. This was a very nice pet. You got along very well. Now this pet has started attacking you. Sometimes it's even attacking your guests, people in the house, you know. The, the, the cat will all of a sudden jump and start scratching the guests. Or sometimes the dog will bite the guests. Even sometimes the, goat, the, goat, the, the dog may bite the inhabitants of the home. They may bite the kids. They may attack and bite the father or the mother. Then that's when you know that the dog has been actually taken over by a certain spirit. Now, mind you, that spirit is not coming out of the blue, okay? It, did, it, did, it, did, it doesn't just appear out of the blue. That spirit comes from somewhere, okay? I'll give you an example. If somebody is trying to hurt you, let's say, if somebody is trying to hurt you, there's a witch, there's a wizard somewhere trying to hurt you, or somebody sends you an evil eye, I could say, that energy, it will usually first of all manifest in the place that you've got at home, okay? That's why I've told you to, be very, to pay very close attention when you start to see very weird, awkward behavior in your pets at home, the pets that you have, you have at home. The energy has switched. They are very aggressive. They want to attack you. Sometimes you see a lot of these dogs, they will go around and start destroying uh, property in the house. They will bite the sofas. They will go and, you know, knock down the TV. They will bring down the radio. They will bite the cables. That's when you know that actually your pet has been overtaken by a certain type of spirit. And it could be sometime in this, in, in this case scenario, it could be, uh, what do they call it? You might be dealing with the spirit of destruction, okay? Setbacks. So the dog will bite your sofa uh, eventually. It will throw down the TV and it's going to set you back with a couple of thousands of dollars. Okay? That is a spirit of destruction. If it's a spirit of death, like I've said, we are going to see deaths, deaths are starting to occur inside of the house. Kids are dying. You know, sometimes you are having kids who are trying to commit suicide. You may be dealing with the spirit of death and that spirit may manifest through the pet that you are having in the house. But again, remember, you have been given power and dominion over these energies, okay? These are low vibrational energies. So for the most of you guys, chosen ones, you know, you have got the power within you. The moment you start to see these manifestations of these kind of entities, you can command them to leave, okay? So they are uninvited guests. And you have got the power to command them with your mouth, with your prayers, you can ask them to leave, okay? There's nothing you can do because these are spirits, it's energy. So you can command them to leave because they are not invited in your home. So whenever you see your dogs and pets 
becoming very destructive, aggressive. They are biting everybody. They are tearing down the cables. They are throwing down all the equipment. They are putting you in debt. Sometimes you have to go back and replace the sofas, a couple of thousands of dollars. Then you're dealing with a different types of spirit. So when it comes to monitoring spirits, you have to know that sometimes the people who have got pets, especially people who are not even prayerful, those people, they may have their pets actually being overtaken by different energies and entities. And they may sometimes end up dealing with this kind of spirits directly. Okay, so this is even easier for a person who is trying to harm you because obviously you have got a moving object at home, you have got a moving vessel, you have got a living object at home, a living thing at home. They are going to infiltrate that energy and they are going to overtake the, uh, the pets that you've got at home. And that's when problems will start to begin. Uh, problems will start, okay? And when we're talking about monitoring spirits, monitoring spirits have got so many different types of, uh, uh, what do they call it? They have got, they come with different types of energies, okay? Energy of destruction, energy of death, energy of sicknesses. All of a sudden, people are falling sick at home. You cannot really figure out what is going on, you know? After, after treating the other kid, another kid falls sick. After treating that one, another kid falls sick. Even sometimes the animal itself is going to fall sick all of a sudden. And you just keep on going to the veterinaries every now and then, paying different loads of money and running into debt. So most of the times, monitoring spirits perform different beauties in, uh, in many people's lives, okay? So for the ones who have asked me that question, I think you may have a clue. I've told you, yes, they have got a pure spirit. Animals have got a very pure spirit. But it is going to depend on who is actually owning that animal, okay? If the animal has got a pure spirit, it doesn't matter how pure the spirit is. But if that animal is attached to this kind of individuals, narcissists and whatever, these kind of toxic people, sometimes even witches, wizards, then that, that animal, that particular pet is going to embody that same energy. But at, at the same time as well, you could be having a clean animal. You're a clean person. You don't have any problem with, uh, you know, with anybody. Everything is going okay. And sometimes your home is going to be infiltrated by a certain type of energy. And that energy, usually, it is going to, first of all, attach itself to the animal. And that's when you see the animal switching up the energy and very bad things starting to happen around the house. But like I've said, you don't have to panic. If you're the person who has got a cat, you have a dog at home, maybe you have a pet snake, you have a, 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 the geckos, some people have frogs, different types of animals, okay? Any animal that you have, everything is okay. But when you ever discover there has been a shift in energy of that animal you know that animal for years everything has been okay but all of a sudden the energy has shift has shifted then you have to now start praying over that animal and you have got to command that spirit to live okay that's how you protect yourself from this kind of monitoring spirits but if situations get out of hand sometimes you may find a person they don't know how to pray they don't know how to protect themselves and sometimes they don't know what to do okay if it comes to that extent whereby things have gotten out of order, you cannot control things at home, the pet has run out of control, then I would recommend that you get rid of that pet, okay? You have to get rid of the pet. No matter how much you love the pet, that pet is going to bring you destruction. You, can, you might as well think about getting rid of the pet. I don't know what you want to do with it. Maybe take them to shelters or whatever, somewhere else. Get rid of the pet. If the energy has shifted and is causing a lot of trouble at home, then you can get rid of the pet. And everything, I can promise you, will be okay. So I hope I've answered that question as clear as I can for the individuals who have been asking me about the pets. Drop us a comment if you have got something to say. Like the page, share and subscribe. You guys do know that I do love and appreciate your support. You can always book a session like I've said. You may donate or support my channel if you want to. Everything you need, you will find it in the description below. And until then, I will catch you guys in my next one. Denzel Moss signing out. Much love and blessings. Peace.